Today we're going to talk about invasive species and what we can do as anglers to help prevent the spread. Hi, this is Brian Pitzer with the Northern Angler Fly Shop. We're a small independent shop in Traverse City, Michigan. For more information on our guide services, or if you'd like to check out some of our product offerings, check out the northernangler.com. Today we're out on the Manistee River casting streamers for trout. With the opener just a few days away, we thought it would be a great time to talk about invasive species and our responsibilities as anglers. With the popularity of outdoor pursuits, and the mobility that people have in today's age, we are noticing invasive species in places where they have never appeared before. Hey everyone, Matt here. The two most concerning invasive species we're facing today throughout the Midwest and the Great Lakes are Didymo and New Zealand mud snails. Now, New Zealand mud snails are a lot like they sound. They're just a small snail. They're really amazingly small. They'll fit right on the head of a penny, dozens of them. And they can really take over the bottom of a river and outcompete our native macroinvertebrates. So our mayflies, our caddisflies, our stoneflies, all the food trout love in our streams, they can outcompete them. And they're really hardy, so they're very adaptable, even though they're way out of their normal range, they're very adaptable to cold weather, they can make it through the winters, no problem, and they're easy to transport because they're so hardy. Didymo, on the other hand, is a plant-based invasive species, and it can grow thick like a mat, almost like nasty shag carpet, and it can really cover and suffocate the entire bottom of a stream. So scary stuff. We're seeing a lot more blooms that have to do with environmental factors, but we're really trying to prevent them from spreading to some of our more fragile ecosystems. Although these two invasive species are very different, they both affect these watersheds in a negative way. So today we're gonna run you through three ways you can help prevent the spread and really protect the fisheries you love. Now that we're off the water, we're going to clean our anchor lines. We're going to clean anything that has come into contact with the water. If you hopped out, you know, clean your boots, scrub the treads, go ahead and clean your waders. Make sure you clean all the crevices. You can see I sprayed everything with four, down with 409. And it's been proven that 20 minutes with 409 will kill all the New Zealand mud smell, snails as well as the Didymo. So that's my pre-treatment. So I'm going to be home in about 45 minutes. When I get home, I'm going to take my regular hose, rinse everything off, 
make sure everything is clean, and then I'm gonna hang it up to dry until my next outing. One other thing that you don't really, people haven't really talked about or thought about is your fly lines. Sometimes you get those knots that have the didymo in it. Inspect your fly lines, take a look at your leader knots. Make sure you're not transporting it on your fly line as well. That's more likely to dry out than let's say your anchor line or your shoelaces or your, or your wading boots. Those are the critical things. Think of things that don't um, dry out. That's why we wanna steer people away from wearing felt waders. Although it's not illegal in Michigan to wear felt waders, we strongly recommend you wear something with like a Vibram or rubber sole that will dry out very quickly. Thanks so much for tuning in everyone. Make sure you clean, drain, and dry everything. And let's help stop the spread of invasive species.